Welcome to the Seven Minute Sting, a series about the Australian Stingrays and the women who will make it great. I'm Mike Neal, and I'm glad you're here. Today, I'm with Shelby Thompson, a woman whose idea of a good time is a cheeky smile, a shoulder shrug, and then a run down to the end zone to catch another goal. Hello, Shelby. Hello. Is that your idea of a good time? Sounds pretty accurate. Yeah, sure it does. You are a cheeky bugger. All right, uh, Shelby, what, what was it like um, moving house to a new city, starting a career, getting married, and being on the Australian team all at the same time? Um, I feel like one word to summarise it is just hectic. Yeah. Like, it's just been a lot, and I can't believe it's already been, like, three months of... A new life, I guess. I feel like I'm still adjusting. Yeah. I've been exhausted. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a good different. Um, right. Really different, I guess, moving from the city of Brisbane to the country in far north Queensland. But it's yeah. been good, a good change, I think. Um, it's a little bit more slower pace up here. You have to find your own things to do, which is a good adventure. Mm. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the new chapter, I think. Yeah, sounds good. And uh, how do you fit Frisbee in amongst all this mayhem? Just whenever I can. I sure. feel um, try to throw with the kids and pee when I can and um, play a bit of social sport because obviously not many people are playing Frisbee up here yet. You would um, be by far the best Frisbee player in it as well. It is wow. a bit of a flex. Um, so, yeah, what can I say? Yeah, cool. Um, can you tell me what your best Frisbee memory is so far from your time? Yeah. Um, I mean, there have been a lot, but I feel like the one that stands out, I don't know particularly why, but last year at Nationals, it was my first Nationals, yeah. despite um, being on Fuse for the third year in a row. Sure. Because of covid um and whatnot it was yeah. my first nationals um i can't remember what day it was i think it must have been the quarterfinals or something um but we were playing ellipsis and like fuse v ellipsis like you just expect we were all expecting to get rolled right um but like it had been raining the fields were so muddy everyone was like kind of miserable but then our team was kind of like really energetic and we were feeling ourselves. Yeah. Um, so we go into this game and then somehow we like get up a few breaks and we're like, wait, what is going on here? <laughs> wait a minute. And then the weather was terrible. So um, everyone was watching like from the stand or like from this undercover area. And I just remember like I think they had a zone on or something. Someone hocks it up to me. And I kept, like, sky a couple of people in the end zone and then it's, like, right in front of this whole crowd of people. Yes. And everyone's just backing us because we're the underdogs. Yes. It was just so sick. And there were, like, so many moments from our whole team that were just like that, like, layouts in the end zone, towing it in. It was just, like, it was sick. We didn't win, but um, we were all chuffed with ourselves. Great um, moments. And, yeah, we we finished – Fifth, I think, which is the best fuses done in ever, I think. Respect. Yeah. So it was a good time. Very exciting. Um, speaking of wet games, gardening gloves? No gardening gloves, Shelby. That is a good question because I have never tried the gloves before. Until? Until the weekend. And I think I actually do rate them. Mm. It's It was... Uh, an adjustment to throw, which I didn't expect. Like, I was doing a bit of a throw before the game, and I was like, oh, it actually does it's quite grippy, yeah. which affects the throws. Wow. Um, but, yeah, I like it. I also get very cold hands, so it's a bit dual purpose in warming the hands but also giving grip. So Sounds like lots of upside. Um, okay, listen, we've only got uh, just over two minutes left, and I want to talk about the weekend when you did wear garden gloves in the rain. Um what can you tell us about the weekend, the Stingray invite? Yeah, it was good. Um, yep. <laughs> typical Sydney brought the uh, rainy, cold weather. Um, yep. 
but yeah, I think it was really cool. I think the team is finally starting to like gel together more. You can see that we're gelling together. The connections are forming. I just feel like everyone is trusting each other more. Okay. Like people are sort of fitting into their roles better now. I don't know, at least for me, I feel like now that we've got our lines set, mm -hmm. um, like I know what to do when I'm on a certain line or whatever. So I think it's, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um, got a couple of things that we can improve on as a team, which is fair, I think, three still three months out from the tournament. So, yeah. yeah. And he's talking about um, feeling like a gel and a connection, people getting their places and stuff. Um, can you describe what that feels like? Like, is that a difficult process or is that a fun process? Like, what's that like, figuring it all out together in the national team? Mm, I guess it is kind of frustrating at the start. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, for me, as a cutter downfield, it's always like, oh, I don't know, like, where to cut or what the handler wants or whatnot. And now I'm sort of figuring out, like, that people would – People can throw it deep, so I'll cut deep, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, which yeah, it's fun when you finally get there. Um, so even though it's I guess frustrating and hard at the beginning, um, when you finally figure out, it is good. I wonder if it almost enhances it that you've had to work a bit through some adversity. That when when it does start to feel and connect, and someone from a different town is throwing you and it's working, yeah. maybe that builds it up. I think it does. I think it does. All right. Well. Three more months of building it up, Shelby, and uh, thank you for being part of it tonight. That's okay. Okay. See you next time on the 7 Minutes thing.